Hey folks, I'm back with this double field motor, well a variation of it, and this time I'm I'm running it like a monopole motor, and but it's an ironless motor, and this is a little nanoscope uh, that you can get on the internet for 90 bucks, and you can see I got it hooked up here so you can see what the motor's doing. I'm going to disconnect the charging battery and watch the spikes go off the scale. That's what burns out your reed. And right here I have this diode hooked up which is coming through the reed switch and th that black wire comes from this coil here and it would be the same place that you would insert a transistor if you wanted to drive it with the reed. And of course it's the same rotor, ironless coil. No iron in the coil. And this time, I'm just running it on a little battery over here. I'm just using one of these cells. So it's about 1.2 volts. And it's putting out about 3 volts. Peak maybe 4 volts on this little nanoscope here. So I wanted you to see that. And of course it's the same rotor. It's going about 300 RPMs right now. So if I slow it down, you can see that the scope is going to go to zero. And you can watch how it starts up here. Kind of interesting. And it runs on such a low power, but I could expect that because it's using a read switch. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll insert a transistor in there and run it from the air cell. But I just wanted you to see, and I, it's kind of hard to get the glare away, but there it is, and I'll show you the rotor once again. It's just an old fan that, that you take apart, and, you, and I machine this, and the coil is 4,000 turns of number 31 wire and any typical reed switch will work on this so just drop it in the bearing housing and let it go and the scope will pick it up it's kind of an interesting scope to work with being that it's so small and it's in color but anyway basically that's what it is and I'm showing you how to recapture a little bit of energy that's coming from it with this diode right here sort of set up just like our SG monopole motor and then that's returned to the positive on this side and then the negative this goes back to the plus on the input battery but next I'll run it with uh, laser sabers air cell which um, is all completely dried out so we'll get the all fixed up but I just wanted you to see this I thought it was an interesting motor ironless stubble field and then I'll run it with a stubble field coil after that so thanks for watching again bye bye